Hey everybody, this is Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about the game control. I was talking to a guy, and he was asking about, you know, if he thought that he should map the game control to a, a rotary encoder that was on his controller, and you know, I have to say no, because the game control is something that you're going to want to set it and forget it, and uh, typically. 99 times out of 100, Virtual DJ does an awesome job of setting the game control for you. And uh, plus, if you do have to make a minor change, you can just do it right here, and then Virtual DJ will remember it. So that way, next time, you're not going to have to to mess with it again. So there's no need to map this to anything. But because there, um, he can't be the only person who has a question on the game control. I just wanted to go ahead and explain it just a little bit. Uh, the game control in Virtual DJ is not unlike the game control that's on your your analog mixer it serves the uh, the same function uh, on an analog mixer the gain control does two different things the first one is to make sure that you have enough headroom and uh, let's pretend that this is our uh, our analog mixer now what headroom means is that when you're playing that channel at full volume that your that channel is not pumping out distortion or that it doesn't clip um, and the other reason that you want to use the gain control and so that way, and this is kind of the more important one, uh, is to make sure that all the inputs that you have across all your channels are all playing at the same volume. So let's say, in let's once again pretend this is our analog mixer, and let's say that uh, channel number one we have virtual DJ uh, pumping into it, and channel number two we have a, a CDJ pumping into that one. Now, uh, how we you want to make sure that when you're done playing virtual DJ that one inputs not hotter than another and then when you go to this one that this track is significantly louder or significantly quieter and what you would do is uh, on your analog mixers play the same track uh, from multiple sources and then adjust your gain control so that way um, uh, when you play go from one input to another the volume level is going to be the same now what virtual DJ uses the gain control is pretty much the same thing they use the gain control to adjust the output of your individual tracks so that way if you go from one track to another track that one tracks not playing a lot hotter um, uh, because individual tracks will have their own volume level you'll notice it's a lot especially in older tracks especially from say like uh, mid 80s backwards especially like tracks from like uh, the 60s you know backwards and stuff from the 20s the gain control is just so low um, but um, how you can adjust that is with these knobs right here uh, like I said before uh, virtual DJ does a pretty awesome job and I usually don't feel the need to tweak this very often uh, but if you do like let's say this track right here let's go ahead to this um, the scratch mode. Uh, you'll see gain control here and the mixer section, the video section, the scratch section. Anywhere where you have a, a volume fader, you'll see the gain control. It's everywhere here but the master, and that's only because there's not an individual control here. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to. Uh, you can see in this one it says negative 2.0 decibels. What that means is that Virtual DJ felt that uh, this was playing two decibels too loud. So let's go ahead and you can pull this down. Now you can see the waveform shrinking, uh, so it's going to play a lot quieter than, than it did. But you can see now we're playing negative 10 decibels. That's pretty significant. You don't want to do that. But just for our example, in the same way, in the opposite way, let's say this track was playing too soft. We can go ahead and push it upwards. And you can see this one is um, pushing it out so far that it's out past the, um, our waveform here. And this track is almost definitely going to clip, as you can see. I mean, it's it's just going to be playing too loud. So, and most of the changes that you're going to want to make to these are going to be very, very minor. Um, just just a little bit, like uh, just tweak it just a hair, or you know, bring it down just a hair. Now, uh, that's the first way to set it, and uh, that's probably the quickest way because you're already in your track and you're hear, you're hearing the volume playing. But there's a second way that you can set it also. Um, in this case, we've brought our track down to 4.22. Now, when we uh, Virtual DJ is going to remember that and it's going to keep it, and where it keeps it at is in your tag, and you can see it if we go to our uh, bring up our track and go to our tag editor. This is the same tag editor that shows us our artist, our title, album, etc. You can see down here. Here's our gain level. That's the gain level that we just changed it to 4.22. Now you can go ahead and change it in here, but it will not remember it only because uh, we have this track loaded up. 
and so this gain control is going to override anything that we change in the tag editor. So if we were wanting to change it from the tag editor, uh, you just have to do it while the track's not loaded. So let's go ahead and unload this track. You can do that by holding uh, down the start button or the stop button. Excuse me. Um, go to our tag editor. Now there's, it's not loaded up in the track, so we can do whatever we want with it. So we can we'll go negative. 2.0 which is what it was at before and then just make sure that you click OK so that way it saves it so now when we re reload this track in it's going to be at negative 2.0 so uh, that's two ways to set the gain control and hopefully it explains it a little bit but you know but like I said for the most part you don't need to play with it too much but if you feel the need that's that's a great use for it if you guys have any questions make sure you put them down below and I'll try to get them answered for you uh, also if you like this video make sure you click the like button uh, share it if you really like it and uh, please subscribe and I will talk to everybody later